Assalamualaikum to all of you. Uh, my name is Karo Akman Birambi and today I'm going to talk about the introduction to operating system. So the first one is what operating system do. So a computer system has many resources and such as hardware and software which may be required to complete a task. The commonly required resources are input and output devices, memory, memory file, uh, storage space, CPU and else. The operating system acts as a manager of uh, the resources and allocate them to specific programs and users whenever necessary to perform a particular task. Therefore, operating system is the resources, the resource manager. In example, it can manage the resource of a computer system internally. The resources are processor, memory file, memory file, and input output device. In simple term, an operating system is the interface between the user and the machine. In operating system, there are two point of view. Uh, the first one is from user view, and the second one is from system view. From user view, the user view of the computer refers to the interface being used. Such systems are designed for one user to monopolize its resources to maximize the work that the user is performing. In these cases, the operating system is designed mostly for ease of use, with some attention paid to performance and non paid to resource utilization. From system view, uh, operating system can be viewed as a resource allocator also. A computer system consists of many resources like hardware and software that must be managed efficiently. The operating, the operating system acts as the manager of the resources, decide between conflicting requests. Uh, control execution of program NS. For, for computer system operation, a modern general purpose computer system consists of one or more TPUs and a number of device controllers connected to a common bus that provides access to shared memory. The example of computer system operation is uh, like this drive, audio devices, video displays. The CPU and the device controllers can execute concurrently competing for memory cycles. To ensure orderly access to the shared memory, a memory controller is provided whose function is to synchronize access to the memory. To the memory. What is firmware? Firmware helps non-volatile memory devices and embedded systems. The next one is initialization. In unit space computer operating system, in its short for initialization, is the first process started during booting of the computer system. In it, in it is a daemon process that continues running until the system shut down. Okay, the next one is interrupt. What is interrupt? An interrupt is a signal to the processor emit by hardware or software indicating an event that needs immediate attention. An interrupt alerts the processor to a high priority condition requiring the interruption um, of the current code, the processor is executing. Okay, the next one is system call. System call it it is how the program requests a service from an operating system kernel that is does not normally have permission to run. Kernel is uh, a computer program that manages input and output data processing instruction from the central processing unit for computer system architecture. A computer system may be organized in a number of different ways, which we can categorize roughly according to the number of general purpose processor used. Um, the first one is single processor system, the second one is multi processor system, and the third one is cluster system. The first one, uh, single processor system. There is one main CPU capable of executing a general purpose instruction set, including instruction from user process. Most systems use a single general purpose processor. Um, most systems have special purpose processor as well. Uh, special purpose processor run a limited instruction set and do not run user process. The second one is multi processor system, also known as parallel system or tightly coupled system. It has three main advantages. The first one, increased throughput. Uh, second, economy of scale. The third one increased reliability. Some advantages of multi-processor system are as follows: reduced cost, 
Multiple processors share the same resources Spread power supply or motherboard for each chip is not required Okay, for the third one, cluster system Cluster system gather together multiple CPUs to accomplish computational work if Different from multiprocessor system However, in that, in that they are composed of two or more individual 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 system or not or not joined together usually used to provide high availability service and the last one generally obtained by adding a level of redundancy in the system Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Saya Muhammad Fars Aiman bin Azari daripada FSKIK Ingin menghuraikan sedikit sebanyak tentang operating system structure di dalam um, Dalam subjek operating system concept Okay Now that we have discussed Basic computer system organized and RT structure We are ready to talk about operating system And operating system provides the environment within which programs are executed internally operating system very greatly um, in their makeup since they are organized along many different lines there are however many common commonalities which we consider in this section okay now I need to talk about operating system operations. As mentioned er earlier, modern operating systems are interrupt uh, driven if there are no processes to execute. No. Um, I input and output device to service and no users to warm to response and operating system will sit quickly waiting for something to happens events are almost always um, signaled by the occurrence of an interrupt or a trip a trap or an exception is a software generation regenerated interrupt cause either by an error for example division by zero or value memory access access or by specific request from user program that an operating system survives be performed. Last but not least, I need to talk about process management. A process does nothing unless its, inst its instructions are executed by CPU. A program in ex execution is measured is a process a timeshare user program such as a compiler is a process. A word processing programs being run by an individual user on a PC is a process. A word a system task such as sending, sending output to a printer can also be a process or at least part of one. For now, you can consider consider. Yeah. A process to be a job or a time share program but later you will learn that the concept is more general as we shall see in chapter 3 it is possible to provide system costs that allow processes to create sub processes to execute concurrently okay
first, keeping track of which parts of memory are currently being used and who is using them. Second, deciding which processes and data to move into and out of memory. Third, allocating and deallocating memory space. There are four types of storage management. File system management, mass storage management, catching, and input and output systems. First, I will be talking about file system management. File management is one of the most visible components of an operating system. Computers can store information on several different types of physical media such as magnetic disk, optical disk, and magnetic tape. Each medium is controlled by a device such as a disk drive, which has its own characteristics. These characteristics include access speed, capacity, and access method. The operating system carries out five activities in connection with file management. Creating and deleting files, creating and deleting directories to organize files, Supporting primitives for manipulating files and directories, mapping files onto secondary storage, and backing up files on stable storage media. The second type of storage management is mass storage management. Because the main memory is too small to accommodate all data and programs, and the data it holds are lost when the power is lost, the computer system must provide secondary storage to back up main memory. Most modern computer systems we use uses this as a storage medium for programs and data. Most programs are stored on a disk until loaded into memory. The disk then becomes the source and destination of the process. Therefore, proper management of disk storage is extremely important to a computer system. Three activities are carried out in connection to mass storage management. That is, free space management, storage allocation, and disk scheduling. The third type of storage management is catching. Information is normally kept in some storage system such as main memory. At its, as it is used, it is copied into a faster storage system temporarily, the cache. When we need a particular piece of information, we first check if it is in the cache. If it is, the information is used directly from the cache. If it is not, the information is used from the source and a copy of the information is put into the cache. In short, caching is a temporary storage. The last type of storage management is input-output systems. One of the purposes of the operating system is to hide peculiarities in the hardware devices from the user. The I.O. system consists of several components, a memory management component, a general device driver interface, and drivers for specific hardware devices. I will also be talking about protection and security. If a computer system has multiple users and allows the concurrent execution of multiple processes, then access to data must be regulated. For that purpose, mechanisms ensure that files, memory segments, CPU, and other resources can be operated on only when there are processes that have proper authorization. Protection is any mechanism for controlling the access of processes or users to the resources defined by a computer system. It must provide a means to specify the controls to be imposed and enforce the controls. Protection can improve reliability by detecting latent errors at the interface between computer subsystems. Security defends a system from external and internal attacks such as viruses, worms, and identity theft. Therefore, to work properly, protection and security requires the system to be able to distinguish between users. data structure used extensively in operating system. An array is a kernel data structure in which each element can be accessed directly. For example, main memory is constructed as an array. After arrays, lists are perhaps the most fundamental data structures in computer science, where each item in array can be accessed directly. The item in a list must be accessed in a particular order. A list represents a collection of data values as a se sequence. A stack is a sequentially ordered data structure that uses the last in, first out, LIFO principle for adding and removing items. A queue, in con contrast, is a sequentially ordered data structure that uses the first in, first out, FIFO principle. Other than that, this data structure there are also have trees, hash functions, and 
We turn now to a discussion of how operating systems are used in variety of computing environments. Mobile computing refers to computing on handheld smartphones and tablet computers. These devices share the distinguishing physical features of being portable and lightweight. A distributed system is a collection of physically separated possibly heterogeneous computer systems that are networked to provide users with access to the various resources. Virtualization is a technology that allows operating systems to run as applications within other operating systems. Cloud computing is a type of computing that delivers computing, storage, and even applications as a service across a network. In some ways, it's a logical extension of virtualization because it uses virtualization as a base for its functionality. The availability of a vast number of open source operating systems has made the study of operating systems easier. Open source operating systems are those available in source code format rather than as compiled binary code. Linux is the most famous open source operating system, while Microsoft Windows is a well known example of the opposite closed source approach. Apple's Mac OS X and iOS operating system comprise a hybrid approach.